Hello and welcome to Mental Health From Me. In this one I wanted to talk about negativity. Um, and not so much not the, the whole concept of it, obviously. But the, the searching for it at times. I mean, we do it without realising it. And I don't mean this in a way that you've got to turn into one of them like toxic positive people who say things like positive vibes only and ignore people with struggles and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I've seen a, you know, I'm not going to mention names, but I've seen a, a well-established mental health page, mental health advocate on here, and uh, they actually state, don't don't message for advice, you know, and that's that's quite a, a negative sort of thing to to pull out there. But um, what I mean is, there's negative stories constantly in the news. There's, negative stories in the papers there's negative stories everywhere in the world on social media life already is hard for everybody you know regardless of this last year but in general life's hard you know and searching for negativity and reading it and and, and letting it consume you isn't going to help you Genuine, genuine question I want you to think when you're reading a negative story um, about somebody that has, has no effect on you ask yourself how's how you know what am I going to take from this because you won't take anything positive from it it will if anything have a have a adverse effect on yourself it'll make you think about it, feel bad, feel sad, you know, and I'm not saying bury your head in the, the sand sort of thing, but there's times and a place and like I say, you know, it's different when it's somebody you know and care about, that's totally different, that's just being a genuine person, taking a, you know, a worry and what they're up to and things, but when it's celebrities and things like that, you know, I've seen the latest, uh, well, I haven't really read it, but in the last few months has been about that one um, reality person whose daughter was, you know, born unwell and basically was never going to live long, you know, and what a horrendous situation and story. And I purposely didn't read much into it. I just it just got shared a lot, so obviously I've seen it, but without being horrible and my heart goes out to anybody in them situations all it's going to do is make me feel worse and there's literally nothing i can do to that person to help them you know um and you've just gotta it's not being selfish it's just more about you know just putting yourself first putting your thoughts first you know if i read this story about you know a, this bully this rapist this murderer you know is it gonna help me is it gonna improve my day is it gonna you know make me feel better just ask yourself that you know and like i said i'm not telling you to become you know toxic negative toxic positive sorry just just have a little think you know before you you dive into these stories and you know, I purposely don't watch the news because nothing positive will make the news because it's not newsworthy. You know, use footballers in this country, for example. They only ever make the front pages when they've cheated on somebody or whatever. They don't make the front pages when they've, you know, donated thousands to charities and things. So, you know, just have a second before you start reading negative stories and things like that. Just think, you know, is this going to make me feel better is this going to improve my life knowing this what can you know will i be able to help this person in any way you know you've got to look after number one at times so i hope you can take something from this and i hope i'm sure you know i'm sure that many of you you know won't agree with what i say in all my videos and that but there'll be parts that you might and that's fine you know i'm not here to to be liked by everybody that's not the, the whole point of this it's about being real and genuine and you know as i mentioned in a post i put on instagram about haters you know i don't believe in 
the term haters people can dislike one another and that's a totally irrelevant thing you know it's just part of life you don't like everybody anybody anyway so you know just thank you all for the comments the messages the sharing the likes the subscriptions everything the follows really means a lot to me so thank you again and I hope, as I say, you can take something from this for yourself, for somebody else. So thank you. Take care.